it seems like so much of, you know, Candace's character is she's very emotional, but, you know, did you have any other resources to lean on? One of the most helpful things for me was to watch, and it actually came from the documentarians. They had um, videotaped Candace and her sister Lori in the Duke archives looking for clues. And she was just there in all her simplicity and love and humanness. And it made me realize, and, you know, Antonio plays with this a lot in the film, like the truth in documentary, the truth in true crime, the, that, you know, the, the documentarians had a point of view on Candace. They had a point of view on Michael Peterson and, you know, they chose what to leave in and what to leave out. And ultimately for me playing her, I thought she was kind of villainized in the documentary. And while I had a lot of hesitation about playing her because this is her life and this is her trauma, I also thought that there was an opportunity to make her really human and make her not just this sort of energy that they showed her in which was despair like you said emotional and fighting for justice she's not the villain of this story well olivia it seems like your character was used as a pawn and manipulated and you know i was curious your perspective on the situation you know playing that how do you balance those emotions and i think there's truth to, to what rosemary said too insofar as i feel like that side of the family was was ostracized a little bit in the documentary which is always tricky, but also I think as an actor, it's 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 almost a challenge because you want to ground these characters and you want to bring truth to these characters. And and I think too, you know, that's hats off to the to the to the type of story that we're telling too, which is that weird, you know, play within a play, a film being made within a film, um, you know, and it really does it. It makes this question: how much of truth is curated? Or how these 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 characters were you know, villainized somewhat when they, they weren't the villains, you know, and that was to push, push a sort of narrative. And I think, you know, absolutely as actors, it's a challenge to take on a, on a real person. I think the excitement of, of uh, being able to, to, to sort of change the narrative and change the energy around these people was, was all the more exciting. It's a story within a story, but then it's also this idea of, you know, how are we choosing to portray this? Rosemary, I was curious because she it does come off as a villain, what do you think it was, though, that like made her so angry? I mean, again, they just chose to show only her angry moments. You know, this is years and months of, you know, of, of, of life. She believes that Michael murdered her sister. You know what I mean? And she and he's a, a really uh, fascinating. Uh, his, his affect is really fascinating and compelling to people. People were drawn in by him and Kathleen was really eclipsed. Again, I think this was part of what made her so angry. I always remember the moment, I don't think it's in our story telling of it, but where she says to David Rudolph, you don't even say her name correctly in your opening statement. You called her Catherine, you know what I mean, instead of Kathleen. What Antonio and Maggie did in this is they really brought Kathleen to life. Like mm -hmm. Tony Collette plays her as a vital, vibrant, loving wife, mother, sister. And so she's very much centered in this story. And I think a lot of what made the, her family angry was that she was forgotten and it was all focused all the focus was on Michael you see these sisters being torn apart but then you also see how it's affecting you know Candace losing her sister how did that like weigh on your I guess portrayal of these sisters it's a heavy it's a heavy thing to take on some to take on a tragedy like that and to be a part of telling telling that story but again I think you know the fact that that Kathleen in this story is it is sort of like at the forefront and and we're really honoring her as a sort of multifaceted woman was really important and was totally a part of the decision making when choosing to be a part of of this project well and i love there's this uh moment with you rosemary where you say she was my best friend and then you wonder like well how much secrecy is there if you know the whole question too of did Kathy knows that he was bi. Yeah, I don't okay. think she did. I mean, and I, and again, I, I think, I think, I mean, I don't know, but again, we all poured over all the footage and I felt like maybe later, maybe in like 2017, I think Michael said she didn't know. Yeah. I think he really portrayed it like she knew, she knew me, she understood. And then later, many, many years later, it was like, well, it was never spoken. Again, these, when you say like, why, why was Candace so angry? It's all of it. And I think what drew a lot of us to the project, Olivia and I were speaking about this earlier, it was just 
how complicated human beings are and how complicated life is. And it's easy to sit on the sidelines and judge people for their behavior mm -hmm. and their actions, but not when you're inside it. And I think Antonio does really get inside mm. a lot of this gray area of humanity. Well, then the poker, I mean, everything is just that's the, I guess, the beauty of this too, is that you're constantly changing your mind about who, you know, who is culpable, who is, mm -hmm. do we, we all carry our own guilt. How does that influence us? How complicated and like complex that guilt is as well. And how complicated that life, life is and when these things happen, why did they happen? How did they happen? The gray area of, of you know, society and, and, and the dichotomy of, of, of human beings. Well, and there was one of the documentary filmmakers says, like, do you think he could have done it? And the other one says, any of us could have done it. And mm. I think that's also why we're drawn to true crime, because it mm. goes to that really um, heightened place that get in a circumstance, we wouldn't know who we could become. Well, and then there's, you know, Olivia, you have this like, almost jealousy for the sisters, but a love. And it's like, that's something every sibling experiences. If you're not jealous of your other siblings at some point. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with 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 this story too, is that we do touch on a lot of human moments. Obviously it's a tragedy what occurred, but there was, you know, it was a blended family and there was a lot of love and they really made made something work against the odds. We do explore those those notes in this in this show as well. Mm -hmm.